Hi guys, welcome back. Um, things have changed. Okay, so I mean, since the, the cube came out, I tried getting as far as I could with a wizard. Really didn't feel like the wizard was um, doing what I wanted to do. So I've changed to the monk. Ooh, baby. Things have changed big time. Can't believe how awesome the monk is. So, what I've been doing, I mean, I was playing around with the wizard and I was playing around with uh, the witch doctor for a while. Um, basically over the past week, it's only really been about a week that I started playing with a monk more in depth. But I started picking up loads of gear. And this is a Shenlong build. So don't judge me too much because I'm still a bit of a, a monk. But um, the Shenlong's fists are absolutely flipping amazing. I mean, they're such a great way of playing. It's a very, very uh, melee focused build different ways of playing it and you can see I'm using exploding palm at the same time um, so it's, it's generally I mean it's, it's a bit of a hack build it's not um, focusing on you know the best way of doing it because I'm actually using um, actually using mystic ally at the moment I want to get rid uh, of mystic ally it's not the best way of playing I think I got frozen on the spot there I think well, <laughs> thought I was doing alright but this is actually the first level 52 rift I tried. Because, I mean, I was mucking around at T10. And I thought, well, I can deal with T10. I'll try a level 50 rift. And I did a level rift, 50 rift with five minutes left. So I thought, well, if I can do a level 50, why not go for a personal best and try 52? So I did a 52, and this was the actual first one I did. So I'm still getting used to playing with a monk. Maybe just a little bit static at the moment. I thought I'd just take on all these mobs. Maybe a good idea or a bad idea, I don't know. Lost a bit of time, but um, when you get it right, the monk is just phenomenal. <clears throat> now, I quite like, I've been just mucking around the past three or four days using the Shenlongs just to generate the build, but using Exploding Palm as well and trying different ways of you know doing it. Um, Cyclone Strike is always something I liked using, so luckily it actually fits into this build really well. Um, and Exploding Palm, I'm using ex Impending Doom, purely because it does the most damage. And it really does um, synergize well with Fists of Thunder. Because if, when you're using Fists of Thunder Bounding Light, every third hit, you can see the, arc, the, the lightning arcing off to different enemies. Now not only does this do damage to up to three enemies every three hits, so you're actually doing about a third more damage, um, it also procs exploding palm on two different enemies at the same time as well, so it actually works really well. You can see how quick exploding palm gets around a group. So this is a really cool little build at the moment, I'm really enjoying this. Um, things will change as I get better gear and stuff. I mean. Neither of the weapons I'm using are ancient gears, and I've done a level 52. So I mean, this is how powerful this build is. It's ridiculous! It's awesome fun. Um, so Fist of Thunder, really good. Um, Founding Light, I'll use that for now. Um, Dashing Strike. I mean, I've only got a two-piece set of the Ulianas and two piece of the, the rain, Raiment. So there's a little bit of a hack build at the moment. Whilst I've been getting better gear, I mean, I'm not even using focus and restraint, so I've still got a lot more damage to come from that, because that'll give me a constant 50% more damage. It's nice when convention of element kicks in at the moment, because I do get you know, a big burst spike of damage. That's only for a very short amount of time, isn't it? So it's it's not really any future in that. I'll, I'll focus and restraint as soon as I can. I've got both rings now, I just haven't had a chance to use them. Um, I will also go to Inner Sanctuary because Inner Sanctuary is going to be another 30% damage for you know, that amount of time that you can get it with the cooldown. You can get it up pretty quick. Not only does it give you damage reduction, it gives you another 30% damage. So there's a lot of things to come on top of what's already here. I'm starting at level 52. <laughs> Left 51 with a wizard, started at 52 with a monk. That's how the difference is. Um, and one of the things I was playing around with 
over the past few days. I would love to try and do this if I can. Is a Sun Wuku build because whilst you're using Cyclone Strike and Exploding Palm, if you can get the Sun Wuku to um, to proc, you actually get 500% more damage for Exploding Palm. I mean that's just insane damage because it's already doing 6,000 weapon damage now. If you proc it with 500% more, that's 30%. <coughs> Sorry, that's 30,000 weapon damage. So when you get groups, big mobs, you just vaporize things on the spot. Now I was using it a few days ago with a real hack build. I had no damage, no decent gear, and I was getting I think three to four billion um, damage. And since then I've gone way up, you know, I've got a lot better gear now. So I'd love to be able to see if I could actually get that working. So that's something I'll muck around with over the next week or two. But it does require some decent um, some Wuku gear because I've got a really really good amulet <coughs> um, it was one of the actual Hellfire amulets I mean I got a fantastic draw I'll show you at the end so this is where we are this is uh, this is great I mean I'm obviously starting at 52 there's a hell of a lot more to come got to learn how to um, get around a bit quicker with a monk Try and avoid a bit more damage. I mean, I'm starting to get used to it. Um, even without, even with Unity off, I did try it without Unity, and it's doable at about level 45 to 50, which is incredible because you can just stand in the middle of mobs and use different uh, damage reduction techniques, which is really cool. The monk's so good at doing this. So eventually, once I've got everything I want. There, so getting up to you know 55, 56 is going to be easy. So I reckon I want to try and get up to 60 as soon as I can because it's it's very doable. Now I know that guys on the PC that have been playing PC for a long time, the monks a long time, are doing 65 plus. But I'm new to the monk. Got a long way to go. Um, just love it. I just absolutely love the monk playstyle, you know, running around just punching the shit out of everything in the face around you. It's awesome. Now, it's been a very slow start and you can see that I've already got a bit of time ahead of me because I've been fighting these big, big dudes. Once you get into a group like this, any second now, kaboom, you see everything just vaporizes in front of you. It's brilliant. Exploding Palm is so cool. So if you can get a God Rift, as they are called, with loads and loads of kind of you know big groups of fairly low health point enemy, it's so funny just to crowd them up and watch them explode really quickly. So this, I mean, there's a starting point. I thought this was quite a tough rift. A lot of big, you know, big hard enemies. So it was a good starting point, and there's um, a lot more to come. Now the thing that I love about this is winged assassins it used to really piss me off. <laughs> oh my god, lacunies and assassins, they used to really bug me so much with a wizard. And now you just stand in the middle, group them up and punch the hell out of them. So it's like <laughs> oh, revenge, monk's revenge. I ain't taking no muck around from you anymore, winged assassins. You're going down. I mean, if you actually want to see the, the strongest build, um, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think um, Quinn69 had a guide up for a pretty strong build. So, I mean, I don't know who's done the actual highest rift now with the Shenlong build, but I'll have a look to see who's done what on the PC, and, you know, times. It's obviously slightly different with uh, the PS4 because, you know, Controlling it's not too bad with a melee attack, but sometimes you want to be able to specifically target things. It's not that great. Moving around like I just did there, you could see, you know, it's quite good when you're teleporting from one place to another. But I would like to be able to actually specifically target certain enemies. Um, so here you can see, I mean, the other great thing about playing with a monk in this Shenlong build is if you've got um, damage per hit, 
or you know health per hit um life per hit maybe <laughs> try and get the words right you can actually just stand in front of the enemy pounding them because you hit them so quick you're actually recovering health at a very very fast rate and by using the mantra of salvation i mean you just click that on and that also then gives you a lot of damage mitigation on top of what you've already got by using you know a dashing strike so it's um it's one of those things that I just love because I used to hate hitting or fighting the guardians with the wizard but with a monk it's just great because you can just go straight up to him and punch the crap out of him the best thing and you can see here I'm also you know, hitting up into the billions already so I've got a long way to go and I know that this is quite a weak build compared to what I can get so I've no doubt I'll be hitting over you know, two, three billion quite soon. So this is going to be awesome. Let's get it. How much time I've already got left? So four minutes. First, the first run on a 52, and I got four minutes left. That is so cool. Really happy with this. So I mean, if you've actually not played with a monk before, and you're getting a bit bored with the characters you're playing with, I really highly recommend playing with it. It's a very fun character, it's very fast in your face. And there's some very, very strong things it's like dashing strike and um, seven sided strike. Seven sided strike is really, really powerful. I haven't actually quite got that into the build yet. Exploding palm is just ridiculously fun to play with. And the Shenlong, the Shenlong generator is just brilliant. It really is good fun. So definitely worth having a play with. You see now. So you see here, right, the, the Shenlong's fists, just normal, the um, legendary one. Sorry, I'll, um, I'll go over the um, stuff in a second. <clears throat> there we have it, my beautiful reward. Just dump some of this stuff in there. Right, so I'll just show you the gear I was using because I mean it is getting there. You've got the Shanglong Fest one side. I'm using the Witching Hour at the moment, Depth Diggers, obviously. Uh, i got the Unalana's boots. And the St. Archer's Gauge Glove is really cool because the more health you have, the bigger shield you get when you first get into a, an elite pack. I'm currently getting about 1.2 million. You can see there the Hellfire amulet. Really good drop. Really good drop. Ancient Parthian Defenders. Damage mitigation again. Really good stuff. Convention Elms. Not the best. It's a decent ring but it's not good. And um, I'm using this to really generate that um, spirit. Eventually that will have to go and I'll generate it in a better way. So Fist of Thunder there, the Bounding Fist, Bounding Light, sorry. Really enjoying that, I like that. It really does proc well with the enemy. Mantra of Salvation Agility, a real get out one, that is, it's good. Impending Doom, Exploding Fist. So much damage, look at that, 6,000. Every time an enemy dies. Dashing Strike, again that's for damage mitigation. Um, Cyclone Strike, I absolutely love that, just freezing the enemy on the spot. And Mystic Ally just to help generate the spirit. This is all gonna change. It's a bit of a you know a starter build, so to speak. I think the passives are <coughs> pretty much um you could play around with a couple of them at the lower levels, but you know, you are definitely needing them. Flying Dragon is just amazing. The more it procs, the better it is. If it doesn't proc it's not so great, but when it does proc, holy crap, it does so much damage, it's unbelievable. You end up turn, turning into this whirlwind of destruction. It's quite funny watching it. <laughs> Particularly like T10, where everything just vaporizes on the spot. So I'll just go over some of the stuff. I mean, it's not actually too bad. It's um, tax per second 1.9. I did have that higher. I want to try and get that a little bit higher if I can. Um, so you can see there the critical hit's fairly decent now. 
area damage is only 50. You need to try and up that area damage a little bit more. Damage reduction, 85%. That's pretty high. That's actually gone down. I need to get that up again. The resistances are a little bit lower than what I did have them. I'm mucking around with different uh, different gear. See there, the maximum life, 8.23. So with the St. Archie's um, gloves, it gives me 144% shield when I hit an elite pack. So I get a 1.2 million damage reduction for however long I can keep it up. I think that's brilliant. Now the life per hit there is only 36,000. I had that way higher, so I will try and get that up higher as well, because it works well with this build. Maximum Spirit 376, so the higher you keep that up, the longer you keep it up, the more damage you do. Anyway, just for tuning in guys, uh, hopefully I've got great things to come with the monk, I'm really enjoying this. Um, level 55 next. Easy. Cheers. Bye.